prior to the creation of the LRR. The Republic of the Philippines maintained a small counter-terrorism unit called A-20, which belonged to the 33rd Special Forces Company. In the year 2000, Islamist terrorist organizations in the Philippines were growing in strength. A series of high-profile kidnappings of American citizens captured Western attention. Now, the United States wanted to fight a problem that the armed forces of the Philippines had been dealing with for decades. The terrorist attack in 2000 led Ambassador Michael Sheehan, supported by Joe Felter, the Deputy Defense Attaché, to push for the Philippine Armed Forces to develop a more robust counter-terrorism capability. Under Title 22 Security Assistant Authorities, the United States prepared to deploy a mobile training team of Green Berets to the Philippines to train a new counter-terrorism unit. In November of 2000, the Philippine authorized the creation of this new unit. Under General Order Number 1292, the Light Reaction Company was born. But still, they had to be trained and equipped. Bravo Company, 1st Battalion, 1st Special Force Group, stationed at Okinawa, Japan, was given the task of training the LRC. Many of the Green Berets were and graduates of the SFAR, the AETC, and SOTIC, who were also regionally aligned with the Philippines. They were the perfect choice to mentor the new unit. $25 million were spent to support the unit. The unit sources its personnel from scout rangers and special forces and then trains them along counter-terrorism lines which was done by the US. There were also some rivalries as the two other army SOCOM units, the scout rangers and the special forces, eyeballed the new unit suspiciously. The fact that LRC or the Light Reaction Company was getting the state-of-the-art weapons and equipment the LRC had all the good stuff, top of the line gear, whatever the B11 guys had, the LRB had. The Light Reaction Company nearly had their first counter-terrorism training course cut short, as the military wanted to deploy them immediately down south to Basila. The mission was to locate and rescue two American missionaries who had been kidnapped by the Abusia. Martin and Garcia Burnham were taken from a resort. They were staying at while celebrating their 18th wedding anniversary. The LRC hit the ground and began their search but suffered from command and control problems. It was an issue endemic among Philippine SOF units but while deployed, they fell under the command of local area commanders who usually do not have special operation experience or know how to properly employ such units. The Light Reaction Company also deployed in their search alongside a company of scout rangers and a company of special forces, together creating the Counter-Terrorism Task Force. U.S. Special Forces would advise and try to help as best as they could. It was just months after the 9-11 attack. It shook the world and the war on terror had begun. Rumor has it that some U.S. Special Forces members wore Philippine military uniforms and were on the front lines with their host nation counterparts. At this time, there were also Philippine commanders who were assigned American Special Forces advisors. Those advisors had to go wherever their counterpart did. So if he was on the front, then so were they. However, these American soldiers did not engage in a firefight. With LRC's initial deployment, other problems began to emerge. The LRC has to be a highly specialized unit. You can't keep them in the field for more than six months. You have to bring them back and retrain them. The Philippine Armed Forces were learning the same lessons that the US Army did when it stood up the Delta Force. A Squadron and B Squadron were initially created, but soon they realized that C Squadron was also required. Thus, it needed to become a battalion with three companies. In the future, we are now looking at training soldiers in an urban setting. To this date, 
The Light Reaction Battalion partakes on urban operations, particularly in the urban setting. Two of which were the Zamboanga siege and the Marawi siege. 